Um, so I wanted to cover two quick things in particular for the chapter. Uh, from a chapter leader update, that, you know, we have a lot of new people joined us, uh, so that's, that's, that's uh, pretty exciting. Uh, and then another component of local business as well as global business is that there was an organization that came to a meeting uh, uh, two, maybe three meetings ago, right? Uh, and then shortly thereafter, uh, I guess they were liking, liked our team enough to stay with the group and keep their eye on what was going on at OWASP. And for those that don't know, this year we approved about $990,000 in strategic budget to go ahead and produce lots of different initiatives for OWASP. Strategic for projects, uh, to help make projects faster, quicker, easier, which Ken, I believe, talked about. Uh, more initiatives to, for outreach and growth with the organization. And one of the ones that I'm personally behind and was one of the reasons why I ran for the board again was because who in the room, by show of hands, finds the OWASP website hard to use? Anyone? Okay, great. Um, is there, if there's a, a confusion around that problem and you'd like to be a part of a, a task force, part of a group that can really help us sort of get your opinions and feedback as to who you are as a user. Are you a developer? Are you industry? Are you somebody else that wants to go ahead and say this thing should operate this way? Well, it's, I'm pleased to announce that uh, the folks from Soren uh, were just awarded the contract to redo the OWASP website. Uh, that'll be a new front end. That'll also be some back end. Uh, and the phase one of this project, which we'll cover and we'll talk briefly about, is about analysis. Uh, we all, most of us in this room, are uh, in the industry, right? So what we wanted to do in particular at the foundation was go out to bid, go out to RFP, and find commercial organizations all over the world that wanted to go ahead and submit a bid and then choose the best candidate, right? No surprise, they're from New York, right, which was a good thing. And I wasn't the one that picked them. So the point of it was is that we have a lot of great talent in our community here. Uh, I'd like to introduce them real quick and give a quick overview as to what we're going to do with the YOWAS project. Can everyone hear me okay in the other room as well? I guess there's no way to tell, right? Okay. Uh, so, by the way, since we are videotaping this, this will also go out to OWASP worldwide. Just awesome. See, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks again, Tom, for having us. And we are very lucky to be not just a newly minted community partner of OWASP, but also a vendor partner. We actually won a bid after coming in literally two, uh, two or three meetings ago to participate in OWASP. So it was really a pleasant surprise and we're truly excited and to some extent, I would say nervous about you know, doing the right, right thing when we're doing this project. But uh, uh, long story short, everybody should have this one pager flyer as part of your handouts today. And uh, that summarizes what we're setting out to do here. Uh, what we're essentially doing is a short eight-week technology needs assessment. And the needs assessment is going to be a multi-pronged uh, uh, effort of collecting information. Okay, uh, So uh, that's what I'm here to talk about. And it'll be brief. And I'll open up for Q&A for any questions or, and or any feedback that, that you might have for us to get started on. So who are we? We are Syrian Technologies. We're based in the New York metro area. Precisely, uh, to be more specific, we're in Oradell, New Jersey, around 30 minutes away from here. We have offices in, in the Silicon Valley, East Bay, uh, and Dubai, and we have an innovation labs in India. Uh, what we do is that we work with several, I would say, small to mid-sized businesses in the B2C space, and we do a lot of work for them. We do uh, cloud technology implementations, e-commerce, CRM, big data, analytics, uh, strategic consulting on the technology side. So we're basically a full-fledged boutique technology services provider. And we work with several co uh, companies that are typically internet-facing, consumer-facing, and have a lot to do with OWASP. And that is exactly why we got interested in OWASP, saying that, hey, listen, we're seeing all these hack attempts going on with our clients. We need to protect our projects and our customers from this. And it's not about just reading about what's going on out there and being reactive to it. We need to be an active participant and eventually, hopefully, a contributor to that whole process of getting this button down. And there's a lot going on out there. And you know, Jin, who's a security expert, Jin, why don't you just wave to the crowd there? And he'll be, and Jin and Austin are basically also key members of this team that's doing this assessment for on behalf of OASP. Uh, so what are the key objectives of this assessment? We'll work to essentially look at the entire technology footprint. 
look at the community-facing website built on MediaWiki, and clearly there's a lot of great information out there, but you know, is it well organized and easy to read and very searchable? I mean, those are the challenges that we are seeing out there, right? So it needs to get a facelift uh, and also some sort of, I would say, a feature update so that it works across all the major devices. It's not just a desktop website anymore. So those are the kind of things that we want to assess the usability, the, the, the scalability, and the long-term viability of the, of the MediaWiki platform. In conjunction to that, we're also looking at the entire back office platform set, so that includes Salesforce Community, uh, SurveyMonkey, uh, several other tools in, that, uh, in, the, in the platform. So we'll start by working with the core OWASP team, so Kate from OWASP is helping us coordinate that, but we'll also be reaching out to the entire community, preferably globally, right? So we're trying to work this across all the time zones, all the OWASP chapters, and soliciting feedback in the manner of surveys, questionnaires, interviews, et cetera. So over the next uh, four to six weeks, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get your feedback, get your input, and use that in, additional, in addition to you know, applying our own knowledge in the technology field. What we're seeing in terms of you know, there are good consumer experiences out there, good community experiences out there, good nonprofit experiences out there. And we're going to essentially write that up and put that out for review and for essentially the future state project of the technology of the OWASP community. So this is the high-level timeline. Uh, so we are we kicked it off earlier this week. We kicked it off on Monday, and we're in week one. We're in the planning phase. We're collecting information, getting the access to the internal systems, etc. We're also working with Kate to line up these interviews and surveys, etc. So those are the things that are being put up. So Jin and Austin have been working very hard to to essentially do the groundwork now, and we'll start these outreach. So you'll start. As the community, you'll start seeing emails, and if you're part of a task force, one of the Defender task force or in, uh, any of the other task forces in, in OWASP, you'll get uh, asked to participate in either in an interview or in survey so that you can tell us what you think can be made better or what is really broken right now about, about the technology. And then in, in, uh, in June, in the early part of June, we'll be essentially writing this all up and presenting this back to the OWASP Executive Committee as well as to the commu uh, community. And this, as all other OWASP materials, will be available on uh, the MediaWiki portal for uh, more additional comments and feedback. So that's the net of what we're doing right now. And uh, so this is the, what the deliverables are going to be. But most importantly, I really want to say that we're uh, excited to be part of this. It's uh, truly, I would say, a compelling task in terms of you know, uh, a global community of thousands of members uh, who are all in the technology field. So you know, there is no uh, pulling a fast one on this. right? We can't just be uh, consultants in a suit here. We, we really need to show that we've got the game here to, to deliver the goods and, and really showcase what we can do in terms of a technology platform for the OWASP community. Okay, so what I would like to do as the final part of my presentation today, if anybody has any feedback right now, my team is here to, to take that feedback and feel free to talk to us offline during a break or anything like that. Or if you want to just raise, raise your feedback, raise your hand and give us some feedback right now, we'll take that down and we'll incorporate that into our assessment. Also, just, just, uh, just for the camera's perspective, um, one clarifying point, um, this assessment is exactly that. It's a needs assessment, right? Third party needs assessment. So it's not my opinion, it's not your opinion, it's the opinion of the world that will then be fed back, uh, sanitized, and put forth as deliverable items. Phase two of the project will go out to bid again, and then we'll have that analysis for who can actually implement or do the work. So anybody listening to this or is interested in following along here, you know, this is step one. Step two will be implementation, and we hope by AppSec USA uh, this year uh, to be able to launch the new OWASP front end. Uh, so there are some tight timelines, some goals, but certainly before the end of the year, our goal is to sort of relaunch OWASP public facing for the next 10 years. Um, Great. So any, any questions for these guys, a good place to start, but please grab their card, and, and I'd love uh, as they progress to give us maybe a little update if they're here at the meetings, uh, or pull together little groups uh, with New York, New Jersey to talk about what's going on. because. Everybody's involved in projects and chapters, and there's a lot of struggles. These guys will certainly hear that and help feed it back. Good? 
Very good. So don't be shy. Feel free to reach out anytime you want, and our contact information is in the brochure that was handed out to you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, and good luck. <laughs>